scientists drilled their way into the impact crater of the asteroid that killed the dinosaur 66 million years ago. And what they found was astonishing. It's nothing that we would have ever expected. Scientists drilling their way to the center of the dinosaur killing asteroid crater. This is in the area of the Caribbean facing towards Florida from middle America. This is the location of where scientists believe this dinosaur killing asteroid struck. Scientists are gearing up for a drilling expedition at the uh, impact crater of the asteroid that hit the Earth 66 million years ago with the aim of finding out what really happened after this impact took place. The scientists are putting the final touches on their plans for an expedition to the Chicxulub crater in Mexico at the end of uh, March. They were to do this at the end of March of 2016. Their goal is to find out what really happened after a huge asteroid struck Earth at that location around 66 million years ago. Chicxulub, C H I. C X U L U B. And here you have another artist's interpretation of it. This is the central impact, and you can see that the Earth's mantle has been disrupted, coming up in various sections around the crater. And this is the map of the location of the Chicxulub crater at the uh, edge of the Yucatan Peninsula facing towards Florida. Now, they're estimating that this research project will cost about $10 million and is being sponsored by the International Ocean Discovery Program, IODP, and the International Continental Scientific Drilling Program, and it's the first attempt at offshore drilling to take samples for analysis from this crater. The drilling will take place in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. The approximately 180 kilometer wide impact site of this asteroid, which is estimated to have been 10 kilometers wide, is known as the Chicxulub Crater, named after a Mexican seaside village in Yucatan close to this crater's center. From the offshore platform, the researchers and their group of scientists will drill 1,500 meters below the seabed in order to reach the buried peak ring of the asteroid's crater. It's a ring of elevated rocks that rise above the floor of the crater and surround its center. This ring was created within minutes of the asteroid's impact and is the only such preserved example on Earth. Scientists believe that the 2 billion year old Redefort crater in South Africa and the 1.8 billion year old Sudbury crater in Canada also had peak rings, but they've been eroded away after time. Now, what are the peaks made of? And what can they tell us about the fundamental processes of impacts from asteroids, which is this dominant planetary resurfacing phenomena? This is what Sean Gulick said, a researcher at the University of Texas at Austin Institute for Geophysics and one of the leaders of this expedition. As well as analyzing the peaks, the researchers are also looking for traces of life after the impact. The peak rings rocks have porous features that may have served as protected microenvironments for exotic life, and the sediments that filled the crater in the millions of years that followed should hold evidence of the earliest recovery of marine life. Quote, the sediments that filled in the crater should have the record for organisms living on the seafloor and in the water that were there for the first recovery after this mass extinction event, he said. Quote, the hope is we can watch life come back, end quote. Scientists first began to link this extinction of the dinosaurs with the impact 
of an asteroid or comet in the 1980s, just a few years earlier, the Chicxulub crater was unearthed. In 1990, Chicxulub was found to be the impact site of a large asteroid believed to have hit the Earth around 66 million years ago, the same time as the extinction of the dinosaurs, as well as more than 50% of all known species which lived on Earth at that time. Now, what about life after the impact? Scientists discover prehistoric beavers who ruled the Earth after the dinosaurs and walking fish found on the wild side. It was, uh, the beaver was part of the group of animals that flourished after hundreds of thousands of years after the apocalypse, the extinction level event that wiped out the dinosaurs and laid the foundation for the mammals of today, they say. Now, going back to the location of the impact site and the craters and the crater rings. This is the location. You can see the crater centers just off the coast, up to the north. Outer rim, 180 kilometers in diameter. And you can see on the lower left-hand side where that is on the uh, Middle America, Gulf of Mexico facing Florida. Now the crater drilling actually shows that since this impact took place, ocean level has risen. So that's why the crater center is uh, so uh, uh, so much uh, in the deeper uh, deep, deeper levels of the mantle. The crater drilling shows ocean level has risen since then. Scientists are analyzing the data produced by the drilling at Chuxulub's crater, which took place in the spring, as we said, of 2016. The scientific expedition that went to work 30 kilometers off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula to study the remnants of the Chuxulub crater has long since left, but the results of the 65-day drilling project have been released, made up of a team of 29 scientists from Mexico, the United States, Japan, Australia, Canada, China, and several European countries. Expedition 364 set up in April of 2016 off the Yucatan coast aboard the, life, the lift boat and drilling platform Myrtle. The Chicxulub crater was created, as we said, by the asteroid or comet, at least 10 kilometers in diameter, so that was huge, and it impacted Earth 66 million years ago. The center of the crater, which is more than 180 kilometers in diameter, located near the Yucatan town of Chicxulub, after which it was named. The source of analysis material for the scientists has been a thin length of geological strata obtained by drilling to a depth of one and a half kilometers below the seabed. While the central goal of the expedition was to uncover details about the demise of the dinosaurs and the evolution of life on Earth after that, one of the first inadvertent results obtained has been geological proof that during the last ice age, the level of the ocean was far lower than it is today. So you can imagine that it was that much lower than it is today. A lot of land masses would have been connected because of the fact that the land would not have been covered by ocean. And so therefore the people could migrate from one area to the other very much, much easily, much easier, or even sail to one area to, from one area to the other much quicker. In the samples obtained during the drilling operations, the specialists discovered circle-shaped structures, which can only be formed by carbonates dissolving, process that can only happen in open air. This is what was explained by Urutia. He said that between 18,000 and 23,000 years ago, the Yucatan Peninsula was literally bigger. The scientists are now conducting and they're concluding that at the time of the asteroid's impact, the area of the crater was, okay, you have to listen to this, completely above the continental shelf, instead of being half submerged as it is now. Okay? So all this was actually land mass. The team of scientists continues to analyze the drilling samples at a laboratory 
at the Bremen Core Repository of the International Ocean Discovery Program, IODP, in Germany. This source is from Milenio, and it's on Mexico News Daily, and I'll leave links below for you for all this.